Slamak Bagi. Buenos dias. Good morning. It's 7 a.m. Um, time to start our day. Let's go. Tarzan in the house. His name is the real Tarzan. My man, the real Tarzan, came down. 24 year old Michael Holston out on the water at night. With its scenes of charging rhinos, and savage pygmies, and the great hunter. Tarzan. He's the king of the jungle. Right here, these guys are hydro seeding. So you see these beautiful green pens? That's super grassy. Look behind you. It just looked like that. Now every single grass and pasture in the middle will have fresh green grass. This is called hydro seeding. Sorry, I'm yelling. <laughs> this one and all the other ones that have dirt will now have fresh green grass. Last week's sprinklers were installed. Now it's all green grass. Instead of going all the way through into the back. We didn't prep that one though. Ah, Spray. Bro. Okay. We only prepped that one. Damn. Good morning, pal. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Oh. Thanks for you. Thank you, my dad. Great. It's all right. You're done. You're done. We have all this stuff being sprayed, so I gotta move these animals accordingly so they don't get sprayed with the hydro seed. This day two, and we're already transferring. Moving from pen to pen to pen to pen to pen. I've been working some with them at night. Already. It's just the start. You got sprayed by the water hose, huh? They got you. The sprinklers got you. Are you smelling like hash browns, huh? So weird. I don't know either. <laughs> Funny guy. Wanna go for a walk? Huh? Here. Okay. Harness. That's it. Yeah, good boy. It's okay. So I'm not like yanking it. I'm not doing any fast movements. I'm just in these early stages of building trust, you know? It's okay. Go ahead. Good boy. Round three. We got this one. This is an easy one. Round three is super easy. Good boy. Good boy. He's a good boy. Be very patient with these animals, man. Patience is key. That can happen five, six, seven times in a row. You don't get them harness can't get frustrated so now i'm gonna walk these guys i'm gonna walk him through the pastures actually it'll be a lot easier so let me pre-prep real quick the pens are open the ones that i open are closed now we're gonna attempt our first walk hopefully this truck doesn't freak him out i don't think it will and we're walking right in the other pen Woo! i got food yeah, man, come on. I'll give him a little snack, a little taste, and we're going to walk it. Hi, Bobby. Look what I got for you. Yeah. Oh, come on, let's go. Starts at night. Starts early. Starts halfway during the day. 
with stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. It's not a double sword. Go on. Forgive me if I'm doing this wrong. This is my first time walking a Zorse on a leash. Good boy. Wait for the truck. Now I am free. You guys did such a great job today. Now that I have the guy's food over here, get out of my bucket, man. They're both over here. We walked them from the third panel all the way to the first panel. Got some snacks. And now we'll fill this up with hay. We'll fill the tray up with food. The water's already fresh. Easy walk, no problem. This guy walked, this guy walked. They both got their harnesses on. Now we're gonna take off the harnesses off. And it should be just as simple as it was putting on because it wasn't a bad experience. It was a good thing. So if you associate, hey, I'm eating, and we're gonna take a walk, hey, no problem. There we go, nice and soft, nice and easy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So now that we have the Zors and the Camel here in the first pen, um, we're gonna go double check on everybody else. I was out here a few hours ago, but it's good to go out here and check their food and their water and their hay, check on the babies. Just doing my daily morning routine and I'm keeping you guys up with me. Um, everybody looks to be happy and fine even though there's a big giant truck here spraying all this hydro seed. But in a few days, all this hydro seed will be actual grass. So our George is coming back up to say hey. Such a sweet boy, his name's Zorro. And um, we have a mew buddy over here and our bigger zebra. I like this guy, I call him the Black Knight. <laughs> He's just pitch black. And then we have our zebra girl, Beth. All right, so now we're gonna hop in the ATV. Boop. Start from the top. Their water is gonna be moved to the other side where they're at. And uh, I'll use my little cart. Make it easier for myself. Let's go. Everybody is going to be confined to the area for the next month while these hydro seed grow. So, within the next four weeks, we'll have flush lush green grass but until then these dirt pastures will not be dirt anymore but for the meantime they're going to be locked up because no animals can go on there so all the seeds can root and then sprout up grass um so the babies are in the back they were in the front pasture but so many cars are riding by so many people are walking by and i want them to have their privacy man um each animal has its own pen and man, we're just almost about filled with our pens, you know, like outside of like minor decorations and shelter and better water systems. These guys are in their homes. As you guys seen, I moved the camel and the zebra and the, all the other animals on the leash towards other areas where we can work and hanging out. But uh, for right now, these guys need uh, to be separated so we can get this grass grown. And the best thing is the grass is the best food for these guys, you know, so. Outside of the timothy hay and orchid hay and alfalfa hay and horse feed, that grass is key to the nutrition, you know? And that's why I only want to keep one or two animals in each pen because they're able to graze all that grass. If you start putting three and four and five animals in one pen, that grass is going to die quick. So it has time to replenish itself. You have time to feed them, give them horse feed, sweet feed, everything they need, you know? Hey, that right. Look, drop the bar just now. Damn, it's like 9 a.m. I'm dropping bars out here. <laughs> but yeah man so today is just young it's so early I have so much to do uh, but again this is part of this beautiful wild jungle stuff I thought about for years since I signed up for um, this is my life man so I enjoy the freaking show he wants to see if we can get scrape that hay out and then move those playgrounds to pieces of wood okay. but I don't want those playgrounds of wood in the zebra cage because they run the perimeter and I don't want them to crash into 
Okay. The playground stuff. So we can just put it up here and uh, we'll figure out what we can do it later. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's gonna go with the tractor and smooth it out so they can spray it. Uh, yeah, we'll go take care of that. So right now, I'm in our tortoise pen. If you can see, I've been watering the grass a little bit, as much as I can, and it's been growing on its own naturally. Um, the hydro seed works a thousand times faster. So thank God today they're gonna hydro seed inside of here. I'm just getting my last manual watering because it's therapeutic for me. And uh, I love it. Change the waters out. Spraying the tortoises down. Guy over here. Little quick little bath. It's gonna be a hot day today, so get a little quick shell soak. A little spray for the seed. Sprout up. These guys can dig, man. They've been digging. It's good for them. Today, their food will consist of heavy greenery, collard greens, bok choy, maybe some squash, cucumbers for hydration, and some pumpkins because, of course, it's still pumpkin season. So, I'll chop their food up later when it comes back from the store. And then, of course, they'll get Missouri tortoise pellets. The little guys are still babies. And they're still settling in, so we got them all the way back here, away from the street. I'm sure this basketball court build is freaking them out a little bit, but there they go. They keep running back and forth. We're gonna fill up the water bowl, and we're gonna get out of here. When they get to settle down. All right, we are filled up the brim with fresh water. Now we have to go take care of our piggies. We get tortoises. We moved the source in the camel, we rewatered the zebras, the baby zebras. Now we gotta go make diet for the pig, bring them a blanket for pigs in a blanket. I'm just kidding. They're cold, so I gotta bring them a heated blanket and then um, some food. And then we'll make our way back over here where we'll work inside of the bigger zebra pen with the mule. And then we'll go do snake. Good morning, Good morning. Them over for a few hours. Now we're going to be going to just do a quick top off on food for the camel and the zorse, and then uh, we're going to go eat breakfast ourselves and then go feed the piggies. Hey Mike, guess what day it is? Hump day! Woo -woo! Hi, Bobbies. Ah, oh, my babies. He say I'm empty. That means what's up, baby? He say I'm empty. That means what's up, baby? He say I'm empty. I learn different languages and little phrases as I travel, and they always stick with me. This is gonna make me sneeze, man. Walk back this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So now we have a little bit of pig diet and a pig warmer. Alright. What's up, pals? Are you guys okay? I've missed you. What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, my piggies? What's up, my little piggies? What's up? Look, they're hungry. They're like, where's my food? Where's my food? And I give them little butt scratches. It's a, uh, it's the norm. So, look, look what I got. Ooh. Mmm. Num nums. Lots and lots of num nums. Num 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 num. Num 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 num. Nom, 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 nom. They take the saying, you eat like a pig. 
literal. <laughs> it's already soaked. So, look at, look at him go. If you want to open this door right here, you can see me. So, these right here are called coon coon pigs. They're so cute. You have pot belly pigs, you got wild boars, you got warthogs. These are coon coon pigs. K U N E K U N E. Call them coonies. <laughs> they're so cute. Um, they, they're mainly uh, gonna eat grass, alfalfa, corn. They have about 13% of their diet's protein, so. Um, these guys are super cute. Um, they love to walk with little water puddles and stuff, but these guys are baby babies. Um, they're actually born August 26th, so not too long ago. They're very, really affectionate. Um, they're super cute. And they're babies, baby piglets. Happy to be pigs all the way down in Florida. Um, you know, being on a farm, you can't have a farm without having pigs and horses and goats and stuff like that. So, um, these are two sisters right here. And uh, I call them salt and pepper because, you know, one's got a little bit of white, other one's got a bunch of black dots like pepper. So, yeah, they're so cute. They're eating out. I'm going to clean up their habitat. And actually, we're building them something cool so they can have dirt. They can get muddy and stuff like that. And I also crawl in and go to sleep. So uh, that, that's being built right now. So for now, they're right here. And maybe tomorrow, tonight, or tomorrow night, we'll move them to another spot. We'll have a little bit more space um, where there's also ducks. That we have baby ducks. So we'll do an update on those later, but we got so much to do. Quick lunch. Look at them munching over here. <laughs> now. I could feed them this whole thing, but this is only going to last about, I don't know, two days. So today they'll eat maybe two more times and um, these same bowls. And then um, I'll take them out so they can soak in some water and also drink water. But this is also soaked in water. And uh, yeah, man, helps with their hydration. Check on them every day, clean their little poops up. That's why we have little poop pads to see how their poop is. Um, their stool was really important during this time. If the uh, stool is real runny, and uh, not hard, that means they're not getting enough vitamins and nutrients they need. So uh, luckily their poop's nice and firm and uh, they're eating, they're sleeping and they got a little cold last night. The temperature's been dropping so they can go in here on these little blankets. But uh, I actually have a heater I'm gonna install inside of here, just a heat pad. And uh, they'll be able to lay on that uh, same pad and go to sleep. Um, so yeah, man, I want them to be comfy. Basketball court's done. <laughs> I want to set up light for these zebras tonight. That should be it, actually. Yo, this young Simba in the building. Hey, yo, Simba. What's up, baby? This is a legit farm cat. What's up? God bless you. You chilling? And it'll be a cat just chilling on a bale of hay <laughs> in the tool shed. Fresh food every morning. A bunch of other cats, but this cat is awesome. I'm gonna disturb you. I just wanted to come give you some love and say what's up and pound it, you know? Enjoy your nap, kid. About that time. Clean up some poop. Now, I shall go make my rounds. Cleaning animals. Poop, that's a privilege. I don't want to, I don't want to rake this grass up, so I'm being real soft. I'm getting this poop up. Doesn't have to be freaking perfect, but if I were on sand, I would scoop up the whole thing. I remember back in the day when I'm cleaning up lion poop, it's easy to keep them on sand because you can scoop that whole sand up. 
But here, as you guys can see, I'm literally combing the poop through the grass. So we don't kill the grass. And also some of that poop will get that soil right, you know? Going to the poop. So now, what I'm also gonna do, and it's a lot warmer outside. What's up, dogs? I have a big rake in my hand and a shovel. Looks weird. I mean no harm. Here's some food. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up my way. So if we look all the way down the side of this gate, you can see all the dirt. They have like a little edge, a little route they always walk. A lot of animals do the same patterns, you know? So one of the most important things I want to remind you guys of when, when working with animals is if you're cleaning their poop, you know what's going on. You know the consistency, whether it's runny, whether it's hard, whether it's brown, whether it's light brown, whether it's green, whether it's runny, whether it's solid. So all these things matter for all these animals. From snakes, to zebras, to elephants, to dogs. So it's a constant cycle, same thing with the goats. And that's what I'm learning over time, is to just keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. You know, take out what you know, store it, seek more information on the same exact topic because there's more out there just gotta want to find it and i'm curious guys that is about today's episode i have mountains of poop to clean up barrels to throw away i have two more pens to keep going through but i wanted to show you guys a daily morning routine every day is going to change something's going to happen i'm already seeing stuff i want to change and fix and make all of our lives simpler so yeah, man, I got a lot of poop to clean. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, tell all your friends that, yo, Tarzan's building another ranch in another state with crazy animals. Gotta check out YouTube videos. They're crazy. I love you guys. Peace.